Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of XCOM Enemy Within Multiplayer. This is gonna be the second match of the Casters Tournament. Um, I will play versus Angie in the second match, so the final match will be versus Firewater Gasoline. Um, I kinda hope he's gonna lose versus Pariah Dark now, they're playing at that moment, because um, if he does, um, I still can have um, I can still fuck up one match and um um and I will be um still be able to to um go for the um tie and um have a decision match for the first place. But um of course I will try to win this match. Um like I said I play versus NG. The map will be um the fast food joint, the really small map. And um NG's going to host. Um I'm a little, little well slight change to my squad. Um, I kind of like the double nading, but on um, fast food joint I don't think I have so many spots where I can um, stay hidden with these guys. Um, also, the hypersensors detection that kind of messes around when you have two of these hypersensors. I mean the units will still reveal, but um, yeah you have to be close together so that um, their uh, radius, um, the hypersensors radius of the two guys um, matches each other more, or li more or less. So um, even if I have them like close together, one tile next to each other, I will only have the six um, tiles detection radius, not a t not a seven. Um, so I went for only one rookie with hypersensors. He has an LPR, so his aim is 75% and he can do a little bit of damage. But I will keep him more or less safe and um, in case I need his hypersensors to scout out a unit or to um, reveal a unit because I could potentially just dash him in so that he re reveals a unit. If I see there's someone with um, shield scanning, I just dash him in, reveal the unit and then I can take shots with my other guys. I have two of these um, Stim jumpers with lurker gene mod and light plasma rifle now, so um, I'm probably not gonna stim up everybody at the same time, so that I um, yeah I can put some pressure on him even if he um, well like like it went in the first match um, versus Pariah, um, my initial attack um, comes then he's he might be retreating because of the combat stims. And I will still have a second um, lurker jumper that can kind of chase him, maybe, and then stim up. So um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to to create a little bit more pressure with that. And of course, the agent plasma sniper with lurker and the combat stims as well. So I'm gonna join the match and um, jump right into the game. So NG has ten thousand points. I have nine thousand nine hundred fifty. I am ready. Let's see if he changes the squad. Maybe. No, he doesn't change the squad, so... This will give me the first turn, which is... I think that's kind of strong on this map, because um, it's pretty small. I was thinking about bringing a mech commando, and um, maybe two Exalt Elite medics and two drones. But <laughs> I don't feel that comfortable with that squad. Um, and um, another reason is why I didn't bring it... Um, is I played in episode 10 versus NG with that squad already um, so yeah just throw a little bit different kind of stuff at him see if he deals with that alright I I'm not quite sure I mean I can go here and then I will cloak can... wait. That's the lurker jumper. Can go there. What about you? I could probably put you right here, just. Or I'll bring him around the side. Yeah, let's do that. So he's cloaking. Well, oh, come on, game. Um, yeah, let's put that guy here. I hope he doesn't do grenade stuff or something like that, but it's quite of unlikely in his first turn. And that guy is probably just gonna go here and hide behind the, um, 
Ah, the sink or whatever that is, that kitchen stuff there. And let's bring the agent on top of the roof. So let's see if we can hear some mechs moving around, maybe. <coughs> I will um, do a match on this map where I play the mech commando, because I think it's great on that map. You can, like, if you have the first turn, you can just dash him up on the roof, um, attack from from the elevated position like this area in turn two or throw grenades there or whatever, smoke them up and have your drones like somewhere here. Kinda worked for me the one time I played it on this bar but uh, on this map but um yeah like I said I didn't want to bring the same squad. And I feel really really comfortable with this kind of setup. I haven't played the exact setup like it is right now. But um, yeah, I think it should should all work out if I don't fuck up. So um, Angie lost his um, match versus Fire Water Gasoline, his first match. So like I said, this is his second match versus me, and Pariah and Fire Water Gasoline are playing their second matches right now. Let's see if he may have moved somewhere here. Nope, can't detect anything with the shield scanning. Well, actually, I'm doing more more of tile scanning than shield scanning. I'm not watching too much for these shields. Because if there's a tile where you cannot move... Oh, that is not full cover. They kind of changed that, I guess. Because on bar... With the register, it is for cover. At least it was in in um, enemy unknown. So that is for cover here. That's cool. Okay, let's go here first. So I see an alien. Oh, but that was just a short glimpse. Hmm. Let's move him up here. Oh, come on. Come on, please. I don't like that, to be honest. I move him here in that corner. Okay, that's... That's a thin man, I guess. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know. Let's take a peek on that corner here. So, there's something else. I'm not gonna do anything yet with that rookie. Also, I'm not doing Overwatch because I don't want to reveal my units unless they're stimmed. So, what is that? <laughs> Laser rifle, 9 HP. I can't really tell if they have skeleton suits with these gene mods. It's really hard to tell for me. I um, have to look take a closer look on them someday. But it might be a medic with a gene mod and a laser rifle or it might be um, a smoke jumper with a laser rifle and a skeleton suit which would give him 9 HP. I could have checked with the um, with the agent because the skeleton suit um, gives 10 extra defense so if you would have 50 defense it would be um, a skeleton jumper Okay, so he's moving on top of the roof with a dash. That's interesting. I need to check if this guy has hypersense. I should have done that last turn. Nice move, nice move. I like that. That was good. Thing is, um he doesn't he's the host and he doesn't have vision on my guy. So I'm not taking the damage, but um <coughs> Okay, let's check that guy out. So he has a mimetic 
No, that's me that I have medic skin. So it's a recon with the watcher and the scope. Okay. I'm gonna stun that guy up. Try to attack that recon next turn. Um, I'm not sure. There's no full cover here. And this guy is also poisoned, so um, the user interface with the green line, that's not correct. And he has a unit right there. Doesn't he? No. Weird. Why can't I go there? I can. Okay, let's do this then. Oh, I'm revealing, of course. Ah, st ah that was stupid. Damn. That was... Not very clever. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm running out of time. Let's overwatch with this guy and um, stem or not to stem. No, I'm not gonna stem. Oh shit, that, the poison was a good move. I'm not sure if it will wear off since he um, doesn't have vision on me. And his recon is probably gonna kill my jumper there. Shit. Uh, okay, I can possibly kill him with the rookie. Oh, and there's a unit decloaking, it's an agent. Ah, so he has quite a nice squad, I guess. I like it so far. So he's decloaking because my rookie is in range there. I should have stimmed up, stimmed up with the agent. That way, that way I could attack him. I mean, I could attack him anyways, but uh, could be risky. And he still probably has something else lurking around somewhere or something like that. Uh, I'm starting to sweat here a little. Oh, what? He's just killing him. I didn't even know he had vision on him. Oh fuck. Oh this is this is starting pretty bad. Damn. Damn. Damn damn damn. Okay, but I could kill his agent without much trouble. He's stemmed so I don't have to fear Overwatch that much. So there will be a flank if I come here. And will be probably 100% shot. With a good critical. I should stay cloaked. So we'll have 100% critical if I'm not mistaken. Or 90%. And I hope I get the 9 damage on him. That would even the odds a little. Yep. He's dead. That's cool. That was an expensive unit. Probably 3500 points or something like that. So, yeah, even the squad there. That's good. That makes me happy. So he's revealing, of course. Ah, uh, there's no window. But his guy's standing right there. But I'm not stimmed up with that unit yet. Hmm. No, I, I, I can't run him in there with... Um, without the stims. Also, I don't see that unit probably. I'm not sure if it's revealed or not. I'm just gonna stay here and stim him up. <coughs> so his poison cooldown um, is over. So he can't poison again, I guess. What was that? The music just changed, if I'm not mistaken. Did he throw a battle scanner or something like that, maybe? Hmm. I would really like to see another unit somewhere now. So let's just... But on that range with the scatter laser... I kind of... He's 
kind of in a bad spot now because he's getting flanked by the thin man. But he will only take two or three damage from the plasma rifle. From the light plasma rifle. So thin man is going up the roof. Looked like it the way the camera moved. Let's see. Yep, that's where he is. So I'm not poisoned anymore, which is really good. I like that a lot. So I think I will just move up here and um, shoot the thin man probably and move this guy over here and shoot the recon. That should work. Let's do this first. I'm revealing so he does have a battle scanner I guess. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do the headshot to be sure. I mean, 82%. I hope I'm not full of bad luck like in the last game when I played with v Pariah. Oh, come on, you suck. Maybe I should rename him or something like that. That agent sucks. He missed a 95 and a 85% shot in the last match and now 82% again. Ah, that's okay, he's doing the overwatch shot, but he's on stims and he doesn't even get the hit. So come on, can you can you please kill him now? 99%, 60% critical only, but I don't need a crit damage. Four, four of the minimum damage will be enough. Okay, at least something. But ah, come on, I'm I miss I miss really a lot of fucking sniper shots kind of pisses me off right now maybe I was a little I should have probably kept a little bit more distance so that I get 95% so he's another oh there's a seeker uh, oh damn he's going to strangle my agent oh shit and my unit up there isn't stimmed anymore if, he, if I lose this unit I will have no way to free my agent and the game is over. That's the thing, the Seekers, he did it He did it perfectly, the Seekers are really strong in the end game when there aren't many units left and um, you can strangle a unit and there are not many support units that can free his body. So he might have another unit somewhere. I don't know, let's see, 1,400 for the uh, summon. No, I think, I think that's the last one. And if I drop down here, I won't trigger the overwatch. Could go here too. I mean, his agent, as this Rican has run and gun. But I think that Seeker is out of cover and has no defense right now, so... I should get a good shot. Oh, damn. This is exciting. Alright, so he's even concealing. 84%. Come on, RNG. I missed an 82%. Now, now give me that, please. Give me that. Come on. Fuck it! Oh, man. Fuck that shit. He's gonna kill him now. Except I get ultra lucky and he only does the minimum damage of the scatter laser, but he should have 70% crit chance. And it's only six p it's only six damage! Oh fuck! Yes! Yes! I think I got it. I just go point blank here. Come on, that should be 100%. It's gonna kill that goddamn thing. Yes. Oh, thank you, RNG. You, 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 you really upset me, but oh, but he's um, catching breath. I think that's what it called. Interesting that his combat stims are still active. Okay, this unit is recovering from strangulation and has minus seventy-five mobility and minus fifty percent aim. Wow. Well, still enough to go here. 
I mean, his aim sucks now. But... What? No, I can't use it anymore, sure. Kinda weird that it is. Well, well, never mind. Okay, I think, well... I would just go on Overwatch, I guess. Oh, this is still, this is still not over. This is still not over. His aim is only um, 55 now with the Overwatch penalty and doesn't even trigger because he just moved there. It's kind of weird that I couldn't see him. So my smoke jumper finally will die now, I guess. No, oh, he's not taking the shot. Interesting. So he can't be on Overwatch. There's some weird things going on with the line of sight here. Where is he? Did he went to the roof? Let's check here a little bit first. So he went there. Then... I'm out of ammo here. Shit. I think I should retreat. But question is where to retreat. This unit has run and gun and probably sitting right on top of me. Where is he? Damn. I need to know where he is. That's Ah, that's where he is. Okay. So um okay now again he catched his breath. But I can't get up there in that turn. I don't know, I'm thinking of maybe baiting him. What? Ah, he's concealing, right. I'm thinking of maybe baiting him with... Ah, shit, 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 shit. Let's just reload. Ah, that wasn't good. If he if he goes for the attack now, it will be hard for me to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He c can you run and gun my agent? Okay. And it's a miss. I think that's it. I think that should be it. That's... I don't want to dash, so again, I use aim and cancel it to reset the UI. All right, <laughs> GG man, GG. That was a tough match. I mean, it's only f 85%, but come on, come on, RNG, you gotta give me that. Ah, I should have used the headshot. Damn. Please kill him. What the fuck is wrong? I oh god. God, I can't believe how much this fucking agent sucks. Shit. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Oh fuck. What the fuck is this with my bad luck? 43% whatever. Oh shit man. Shit, he's gonna kill that guy. It is nuts indeed. Oh man. Oh man, I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> Have fun, not, not really. I mean, it, it is kind of fun, but I'm pissed. He's sitting behind that car over there. <sighs> Shit. I don't know how to win this, to be honest. I need to flank him. Otherwise, no chance. 
Oh boy. I have no clue what to do. So he's there. If I go here. <sighs> Let's move here. I don't know. I mean, I don't even have a way to reveal him. He's gonna cloak now, and I really don't see how I can win this. That fucking agent. I will dismiss that agent and rename him. Well, I just I will, will just clear the whole slot and. Make a new agent. <laughs> that fucking pisses me off some bad. Okay, where did he go? Hmm. Don't see him yet. He's not on top of the roof, is he? We don't want any more nasty surprises here. Okay, I have to shake that off now really really messing with my with <laughs> my motivation a bit but oh he might just run there to those trash cans maybe fuck his this run gun will recover and I will I will lose I'm thinking about coming here and then hunkering down I don't know where he is. That's fucking. Uh, that's a problem. <sighs> oh, so that's where he is? No, wait. No. Let's go here and hunker down, whatever. He can't even finish me with a pistol, he doesn't even have to rely on his scatter laser. Because I'm kind of safe on the range attacks from the scatter laser, because it's a shotgun obviously. I mean, I could force a stalemate. Oh, what happened there? I mean, I really could force a stalemate here. Could just run away and stay in cloak. I don't really have a chance to, to hit him. I mean, he's there, but... What good does it do me? I mean, I could go here and take a crappy shot, but I won't even see him. Because he's cloaked. So... <laughs> I'm just... See what he has to say about that. So we're doing a rematch. Huh. Well, <laughs> I mean, RNG owes me one, so... Okay, let's do that. So he's gonna stand on the ground inside an overwatch next turn. And I will go here. I know. I know that you're on the roof. But um, honestly, if he overwatches, I could, I could just not trigger his overwatch by just looking around the edge. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. But what I will do, I mean, I I don't know, I hope it's not unfair. But, um, I don't even know who he is. I 
Ah, uh, indeed, Anji was not on my side. Again! This was a crazy match indeed. So I don't even know exactly where he is. So I guess I just dash over here. Well, of course I didn't. <laughs> I didn't reveal. <laughs> The, uh, damn it. So I should reveal now, right? I will do the dash. I mean, it's in case you don't know, dashing gives you a little bit um, of extra penalty to the Overwatch penalty. This is also um, the reason why Dead Eye Snipers on elevated positions can miss an Overwatch shot. Because if you dash, I mean, they would have 180 aim, 18 aim. And, um, I think the overwatch is calculated by percentages. Okay, here it comes. GG anyways, man. That was a tough match. And here comes the overwatch shot. And it's oh, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh, I think I failed the logic. Maybe uh, I don't, I don't know to be honest. Okay, so 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 what so what should I do? I don't I don't really get this how we decide this. Cloak and take the shot. I can't I can't cloak and take the shot because I'm in vision. So I take the shot then, okay? I mean this is kind of messed up. We could have replayed this, but we want to get this tournament over in one day. But the thing is, I still can't... Yeah, I can go here. And then just come... Over here and that should cloak me again. Okay. That was that was a hilarious match. Okay, it's ninety percent critical because I'm cloaked, and it's ninety percent to hit. When I hit the critical damage, um, I can either do roll seven damage or nine damage. Uh, come on, whatever. This is kind of messed up, anyways. And it's only seven damage. Of course, GG. GG, RNG doesn't like me. That was a weird match. Well, I don't really know what to say. I hope you enjoyed watching anyway, so I think I need a cigarette and a beer now and just process <laughs> this whole ridiculous match and those. Missed shots again, I can't believe it. I missed three of those over 80% shots again. I mean, I thought there should be enough RNG bad luck with the match against P.
Pariah in the previous episode. Well, I missed the 95 and 85 percent, but apparently not. Wow. Let's hope Firewater Gasoline did lose against um, Pariah Dark. Otherwise, I would um, have to beat him twice to win this tournament. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, see you in the next episode, which could be the final or semi-final match of this tournament. See you then.